Inside the third of them, Zhao Xingtong, who's uh, delighted us the last two days to break. And uh, Zhao Gudong must be so uh, happy with that victory over Mark Selby, who's always tough to beat. And indeed did beat him 3-0 <laughs> in the match just before that semi-final. So uh, settle back and enjoy it. There's been some good stuff played uh, today, Dominic, particularly in the last couple of hours. Yes, both these players seem to be at the top of their games. Zhao Gudong has knocked in an abundance of big breaks. Great performance to beat Mark Selby, as you alluded to. He beat him 3-1 in the semi-final there, having lost the match before. 3-0 to Mark Selby. So he really did turn the tables on Mark. Sing Tong. Well, he performed so well against Stuart Bingham, I have to say. 138 break. Well, he's knocking in everything. So confident at the moment. Current UK champion. It's not easy, though, just to keep playing matches and finishing them and then going out there again five minutes later and starting another match all over again just takes a little bit of time just to settle back down and reapply yourself and get that focus and concentration back. Yeah, and the other thing is, of course, this is now the final, so it's all on the line here. It's either you come back for the winner's group or you come back literally tomorrow. do I have to say I've lost in a couple of finals of groups and been useless in the group afterwards the next day because it's just so deflating when you've done all that hard work and you just fall one hurdle short have to start all over again with lots of group matches one but that's a great double Shout. yeah it, I think he does have to start favorite of course he won all six matches in the group he's just played very impressive stuff in the semis and he's in with a nice double here just seems to be loving every minute of his snooker at the moment, which is great to see. Of course, a recent winner of the UK Championship and has suddenly become a big star in the game. Nine. Made his 100th career century earlier today. And has since made his 101st. Although Stuart Bingham, I just saw him actually before he left and he was quite happy that uh, Zhao didn't, I don't think he understood there was a high break prize. So Bingham at the moment will still get that £500 unless of course it goes in this final. 16. Oh, 17. Way this young man's been playing the last few rounds. It might go here. as straight on the red as he'd like 24. to be so he may use the pack of reds here just to deflect the cue ball at the table but he's just realised I think that the blue doesn't go in the left centre 25. so I had to play a different shot oh dear well that could 25 you couldn't put those reds on the cue ball any better with your hand I mean it's just worked out like a charm Stuart actually said in his very gracious way that it was a pleasure to watch at times and it's not easy to say when you're the opponent getting beaten but he of course is a great 31. lover of snooker just appreciates the talent of Zhao and more and more people 32. are doing exactly that appreciating his skill so bang in here in frame one he's a creative player isn't he, he creates chances and uh, we've seen over the 39. last couple of days, as we saw in York, that he then takes them. 40. He's just such a classy player. He's got a lovely rhythm in his play. Walks around the table at such an even pace. 47. He's fairly quick on the shot, but yet unhurried. 47. He really is a pleasure 48. to watch and commentate on. And you know, this 
54. Been in progress, it seems, more than about three or four minutes, and all of a sudden, 55. You know, just two or three more reds and colours, and the frame's gone. Sixty one. Well, this is the red that will put him to the snooker's required position. Well, 68. You know, you won't see much of a quicker kill than this. Got him with the double. Very quickly got Reds into the open. And has won the frame. You assume now snooker's needed and... 75. Chance for another big break. 76. All <laughs> apparently easy, and we know it isn't, of course. Eighty-one. Okay. Eighty-two. When I watch Shao Xing Tong playing like this, I'm, I'm reminded of the great four hunter, in that he just plays the game in such an effortless way, with such a, a nonchalant air. Never looks hurried, never looks flustered, and shows very 84. little emotion. Paul Hunter, 85. Who, uh, after whom the Masters Trophy has been named, of course, three times champion. He was the darling of the, the Wembley crowd. I think the Alexandra Palace crowd next week will take to Xiao Jing Tong, certainly if he produces this sort of snooker. 90. Good news for Stuart Bingham is once again he can't beat the high break. And in fact, the break will not be a century, but it was a very quick 90. Xiao Jing Tong, 90. And, and no fact. time at all. Xiao Jing Tong has won the opening frame of the final. Remember, three required to book a place in the winner's group. So 90 break from Xiao Jing Tong has given him the first frame of the final of Group 3 of the Championship League. It's the first to three Zhao that joins uh, the winner's group. Liang Wenbo and Graham Dot already there. There's another four places to be decided after this uh, match. And of course, uh, two more this week, actually. We've got two more groups coming away this week.
well, <laughs> this time the red doesn't go in. He's opened up other reds, so Xiao Gu Dong immediately gets a good scoring opportunity. And remember, he's had five centuries in this group. Maybe a more understated kind of player, but still, well, I was going to say, still very effective, but that wasn't so effective. Did you see that cue ball? It, it seemed to gather pace. Cannot believe it's nestled against the red. Have a look at that. Oh, can you see a colour? I think Honestly, Dave, I'm staggered that cue ball ran behind that red there. Love to see that again. Xia Guadong, one. Now, just have a look at this. In goes the red. Now, watch the cue ball here. It just seems to almost gather pace. You think it's going to stop and it just keeps running. Amazing. There's a red available to the right middle, but you will feel he's going to have to get it. And he has, so he's back in. One. Same applies as before with Zhao, his opponent, in such irresistible form. Every chance he gets, he's really got to try and make the most of. And this looks a good one. Six. Seven. This is a great chance for Xiao Guodong to level this match up. Possible problem in that the red's either side of the black blocking both the corners, so the black doesn't pot anywhere just yet. 13. Fourteen. is dead straight on this pink. It's not ideal. Cleverly played for a gap though between the pack of reds and the red above the black. Twenty. To play the red to right corner. So that makes the black available into one of its pockets. Well, that was a very complex positional shot that Zhao Guodong was attempting there to come back behind the black to play it into the same pocket as the red, but it wouldn't have been difficult to play for the pink there. Well, that's two openings he's had, which Guodong, 21. haven't come to much. Just 22 in front in the second frame. Shots, I feel. Well, part of it is surely the knowledge of what might be coming. You know, if you if you miss, and that's 
his opponent. He's been a bit fortunate, I think, here. And says Yao Gudong. Yeah, Zhao Zintong just having a look at that red near the right hand centre pocket to see if he plays a safety shot into Bolt, whether it's possible. This is a good effort. Well, it's a good return. to cut this red in but he would have to either pot it or miss it on the thin side to avoid cannoning into the reds and the pink decided to play the safety it wasn't easy he's brought the red back with the cue ball but I think it's gone safe moderately anyway Shao can get through to any of the reds to the right of the table. But he's freed the black up there in playing that safety. Zhao's in Tong. Oh. Can Shao get through to a long red? Oh, he could. Bit of a fluke in the end. Potted it off the other red that was oh. near the pocket. <coughs> now, does he take the difficult pink to right centre? Play for the red. It's just finished near that left centre if he does. Dong. Maybe he felt the red that's near the left center is a bit of a tricky cutback. I have to say, this red is also a tricky cutback. Oh, well done. Just Eight. trying to search that one good positional shot that would get him in perfectly. It's almost downhill this table, I'm sure. It's like the slope at Lord, isn't it? Well, it's three times you've been in now in this frame, but Shall still thirteen. just 35 in front.
and even that red, you know, has ended up on the top cushion. I thought he was going to potentially be on for a pot. She kept going. This class I think I've ever witnessed. Oh, good pot from Xiao Gudong. He's needed several opportunities to, to win oh. this frame and he's certainly nowhere near winning it yet. But look at those four reds in a line below the pink. Just waiting like soldiers there, aren't they? Again, though, just got a control position. Four. Of course, the third group, and all three of our Chinese players in them. Liang won the first, Lu Ning lost the second to Graham Dot. Now we have two Chinese players in the final group three. There's increasing strength and depth in the Chinese game. For years, of course, they relied almost solely on Ding. Then Liang came along and then a few of the younger players started to, to threaten Yan Bingtao first. Zhou Yulong, of course, is uh, just on the fringe of the top 16 and Zhao Gudong here as well, very dangerous. But that was never in, was it? Zhao Gudong, five. Yeah, the previous red, he didn't quite get through the ball on and sort of jabbed it a little and the cue ball didn't go anywhere and left himself a tricky little cut back pink and as you say Dave you know this young man Xiao Xin Tong is just so dangerous he puts so much pressure on you you just feel that every chance you get you've got to make the most of Sixteen. Seventeen. Looking ahead, the yellow is uh, on the book cushion. Twenty-four. We'll see. He's been so confident the last two days. Just 25. joining us, he hasn't lost a match yet. He's won seven matches, the six group matches, the semi-final. 22. And in fact, uh, has only lost five frames in the whole event. 32. 33. Incredible, isn't it, Dave? really begins handy now that Charles knocked the black in it goes on its own spot now so didn't have to 40 make the key will travel too far for a good position on the black just that little 
extra pace made the pot miss in goal 40. But he's recovered the deficit. Scores are tied, 40 points all. Anybody's game. This is a shot that you would generally play with a bit of pace, so if he doesn't hit the red or contact the red and goes behind it, could it easily leave a free ball? Oh, hang on. What's happening here? Has he left the red on? He has. As he alluded to earlier, Dave, the yellow could be very problematical. but he has a little angle on the pink to work with. He just needs to avoid the in-off into the right centre pocket here, possibly. Ooh, just about, but it's no good. He caught the bump and he snookered himself. Incredible. I mean, if you were doing a sort of spot the ball, Seven. where's it going to finish? You wouldn't have picked here, would you, the cue ball? Just the way it happened, catching the bump and then catching the blue. Xiao Guodong, seven. Oh, that's a disaster for Xiao Guodong. From Xiao Xintong's point of view, that couldn't have finished better because I know he's left-handed, has the players with the rest, but you think it's his guaranteed snooker, as long as the yellow avoids the green. Oh, he hasn't played it well. Dong there, snookering his younger opponent. Not too difficult to hit the yellow, but of course you've got to get it safe. Oh wow, look at this, Dave. Incredible. Yes. <laughs> Just flicked it. Just flicked the yellow. And uh, got a snooker back. It's okay. Might just be able to catch the side of it. Well, you didn't know where to look there, did you? There's so much that could have happened. The double kiss could have happened. The in-off could have happened. But in the end, he's left the yellow on. So this is a chance for 2-0. any stun on the cue ball at all but how many times have the middle pocket jaws come into play these last five minutes five couldn't have held the cue ball any better there but being left-handed this is a lot easier for Xiao Xintong than it would be for a right-hander just pots these missable balls nice. with such effortless ease it's incredible I think that's the thing, Dominic, he just fancies getting them. I mean, that wasn't easy at all. But anyway, spotted it and he needs this pink to lead 2-0. It feels like uh, a real crunch frame to win. Zhao made all the running, had a lot of chances early on. But it's been taken 20. by his compatriot. Just checking the score, doesn't Zing need Tong. the black. So, Zhao Jingtong, the UK champion, he's one frame away now from winning this third group of the Championship League. He leads Zhao Gudong by two frames to nil.
both players just out of the arena. So time to talk about tomorrow. Um, we've got, of course, new players coming in. The small matter of Judd Trump, champion of champions. Karen Wilson, who won both championship leagues, remember, last year, the ranking event and the invitation event. And Scott Donaldson from Scotland, also a former winner of the championship league. Mark Selby's back, Stuart Bingham's back, Lou Ning's back, and then, of course, the loser of the this final will return. So regardless of who that is, it's already a fantastic group. Three world champions there, Trump, Bingham, and Selby. And of course, uh, Karen Wilson, a big hitter as well. Looking forward to that. But right now, it's 2-0 to Zhao Jingtong. And he needs one more frame to win Group 3 and cap a really terrific two days. And talk about a confidence boost ahead of your Masters debut as well. If you were to win all eight matches, win them well, having played so well, then he goes to the Alexandra Palace to face John Higgins, feeling really good about things, if he wasn't already. Because, of course, after the UK Championship, he hadn't qualified for the Scottish Open. He'd lost in pre-qualifying. So his next match actually was at the World Grand Prix, and he, he was beaten in that. But as uh, 2022 has got underway, we've seen all that uh, form that we witnessed at the Barbican in York before Christmas come flooding back again. Felt there was value in the double, he would have been on the black and covering the other reds. Oh, the red that Zhao missed, the attempted double, yeah, blocked the pocket, the long red into the green pocket. He is looking at a plant here into the centre pocket, Zhao Gudong. Must be fairly close. What's well. in? Now, he needed several opportunities to give himself a chance to win that second frame and level the match up at one all, and he couldn't do it. He needs to start winning frames in one visit if he can. Because his opponent, well, he always looks like winning a frame in one visit, doesn't he? Eight. Paul Collier, the referee, just measuring the pink spot. Doesn't go on it, so usual drill, close to its spot as it can go in a line with the spots. Oh, this is a type of shot that has caused players problems. Twenty one. Thin cutbacks and trying to control the pace of the cue ball. Oh, wow, that's a lovely little cannon to the brown. He's got every opportunity here to take the cubal into the pack of reds. Well, that's fair enough. Got a red to the right corner. The pink certainly pops into the right corner. Maybe the black too. Well, he certainly didn't hold back, did he, the way he played this? Bosch. Twenty-seven. Now the pink spot's still occupied. He needs to be careful because if he nudges the black, 
pink may go on the black spot. Thirty-three. The cloth is like ice. Maybe, Dominic, this is uh, a bid to get snooker in the Winter Olympics. Been various attempts to get it in the Summer Olympics without any success. Tell you something, Dave. I'll be signing these guys up for the curling team. I think their touch will be fantastic. Forty. <laughs> Forty-one. Well, he's still going, and things looking good in this frame for Xiao Gu Dong, but has to press on because we saw what happened in the last frame. He was, you know, quite away in front, and things turn round. I think the overall standard in this group has been superb. You know, first snooker of the year. But any rustiness by and large disappeared. Obviously, you know, Joe Perry and Ryan Day struggled, but the other players have uh, produced a feast of big breaks. 49. break open those three reds there were enough loose ones on to easily win the frame very lucky that that red was on 56 it's not out to the woods yet doesn't have a great angle on this pink maybe slightly hampered here Sixty-two. Black then, it should be two-one. Well, this has been good stuff because he's been under pressure. Just how well his opponents played. Seventy. And uh, just the odd little laps from him as well. But this is more like it. And it seems when he wins frames, 71. he wins them with big breaks. He's had five centuries already. This uh, could well be number six. That would take him for his career to 199. Eighty-six. Eighty-seven. Stuart Bingham's high break of one three nine, not under threat here. No, of course Xiao Jintong really should have beaten it, but I just think it was unaware that there, that there is a high break prize. Anyway, it's been a, a another very classy effort from Xiao Gu Dong Black for his sixth century in this two-day group. Oh no, it stayed out. Oh dear, what a shame that is. Well, no century, but a frame-winning break nonetheless. So he pulls one back, and Xiao Jing Tong's lead is cut to two-one.
So it's 2 1 to Xia Jingtong against Xia Gudong here in the final of Group 3 of the Championship the League. First to three. Xia there had a, a great chance, didn't he, to make a sixth century of the group, but anyway, he won the frame. Can he force a decider? opened a few more reds up so a lot of pressure on both players safety shots here the mistake could be very costly and there is a mistake all things considered Shouting Tong was very fortunate there because he's left a missable red. He could have left a dead cert. One. A clean pot from Xiao Gudong. Now, can he play for the, bl the red that's above the black here? Free the black spot up. Six. <coughs> Just didn't get that extra bite out of the key ball there. So it's left things slightly awkward for himself. position again yeah I don't think he's sure exactly where that would finish but as you say he's okay Thirteen. First match of the day on this table he played Lu Ning who played very well to lead 2-0 but then Zhao Gudong started to produce the goods himself breaks of 131 and in the decide 117 to win 3-2 so that was the start of things today for him to run through for the black here. 28. If he screws off the side of the pack for position on the blue, you've always got to be careful not to go in off. Oh, I didn't have to do it. This, you know, this clock is so 29. responsive. To avoid the pack of reds there, well, you can't do it on every cloth. Oh, there's 
I don't 35. Know. Thirty-six. It's in his hands to take us all the way to one last frame. I thought the win over Selby 44. was especially impressive because Selby had wiped the floor with him on that table just literally just before that semi-final, 3-0, two centuries and a 94. So to come out immediately and turn the tables showed great strength of character. Fifty-one. Little short of pace again. We'll have to cannon into other reds here. No absolute guarantee. It'll work out in his favour. Judged it well. Fifty-two. Fifty-nine. Not sure how the Don can pop this red and run through for the black now. We'll have to try and gain position on the blue. Sixty. Well, it doesn't take the longish blue into the top right-hand corner. There's a red in the middle of that little group there by the pink that pots into the left corner. Two balls away from 2-2. Two -two. 65. Terrific match. The standard has been brilliant in this group. And these two have more than contributed to that, and we may well be getting one more frame. Looks like it. 66. Great response. He looked a bit edgy early on in this final, but he's not looking edgy now. Far from it. Now then, he just missed out on the century in the last frame. Maybe he can make one here. And <laughs> don't want to keep on frightening Stuart Bingham but there is just about enough on here for a 140 the highest break 139 at the moment eighty one eighty two Potting reds and blacks from here. And he's played a good one, and I think the top red of the two together there will pot into the left centre. 89. Of that would free up the other one. 90. Oh, couldn't have left a worse angle there.
Yeah, so, again, just misses out on the century, but 96 will do nicely to Thanks. level this match. So the whole group, all the frames we've seen, all the matches we've seen, are going to come down to one more frame to decide it. Zhao Xingtong 2, Zhao Gudong 2, the decider is coming up next. So it's all on this frame, 2-2. Two, two. Xiao Jing Tong made the running. He made a break of 90 in frame one, won the second the frame. frame. Breaks of 95 and 96. Frame. Xiao Gu Dong has hit back. Whoever wins this frame advances to the winner's group. Whoever loses it will be back tomorrow for group four. of pressure on both of these Chinese players in this final frame to decide the group who will get the first chance well, this red is on the red below the black but it's been a while since Xiao Xin Tong troubled the scorers. Oh, that was so very close. Agonizingly so. He's going to fall at the very last hurdle. He's been the player of this group. The only unbeaten player. It's a, it's a decider, folks, one. and it's a little bit edgy early on. There was just that little degree of hesitancy there, wasn't there? A couple of inches further with the cue ball, he's been playing that blue to the right centre. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've come so far, haven't we? All, as I say, all the frames, all the matches, and that's all on this frame. Straight shootout. One. Xiao Tong missed that red, but he's back in after Xiao Gudong missed the blue. Of this break. One 
red he'd like to get rid of is the one closest to the right corner because that would pave the way for the red that's next to the black. And once that's removed, the black Seven. will really be an open play. Eight. Fourteen. Fifteen. Oh, hold on to your hats, folks. If Shao Sin Tong takes this pink on, the reds will be developed. Again, just played <coughs> it so beautifully, so controlled. Could have brought further reds into play, but that would have involved a greater risk of missing the pink. Twenty two. try and promote the red that's just to the left of it here. No. Try to power the pink in and bring everything into play. Well, this is finished awkward. There's no doubt about that. The red's on into the left centre, but really hampered queuing here. Can only just drop it in. Twenty-nine. Pink not available, so the straightish blue. Again, played uh, as if 34. it wasn't a pressure ball. That's the only bad thing. If he were to win tonight, we wouldn't see him tomorrow in, in Group 4 because he's just brilliant to watch, isn't he? Of course, we'll see him in the winner's group if he does come through here. 37. tight but I must assume it goes 39 well if he's on this red to the right corner play the match 44 really Zhao in tongs except an increasing degree of pressure 45. in front not much 51. more to do a couple more reds with colours 52 just played so nicely the whole group he won all six of his group 58. matches that's relatively rare he only lost four frames in that stage, then came through 59. the semi-final with Stuart Bingham playing delightfully as well. And now, barring snookers, this pink is going to put him into the winner's group. What a player. What a player he is, Xia Jingtong, snooker's newest star. A young man we're going to be seeing 65. a lot of in the years to come, clearly. Including here at the Championship League. Later in the season, he'll be back 66. for the winners' group. Fifty-nine. 
Don't think that's going to matter. He's Don't too far in front. 66. 65 with 51 on. Frame. And the there is the concession. Well, it's a wonderful match. Zhao oh. uh, Jing Tong made the running with that 90 break one. The second frame. Zhao Gu Dong hit back with breaks of 95 and 96. But that 66, very coolly made, means that it is Zhao Jing Tong who wins Group 3 of the Bet Victor Championship League. Yes, all smiles as they, they walk off as well. Uh, it might be from Xiao Jing Tong's perspective. Of course, Xiao Gudong will come back tomorrow, but there you see that winner's group filling up and centre stage right now is the winner of this group. Already through, of course, Liang Wenbo and Graham Dot, but uh, there you see Xiao Jing Tong as well. Into the winner's group, that will be uh, the first week of February. So uh, he's got a bit of time, well, about a month before. He returns here to Leicester for that. So, I think we can hear from our group winner now. He's talking to Phil Yates. I feel very well. Not this way, just, just two days, yeah. You seem so, so confident, obviously after winning the UK Championship. That should be expected, but you seem to be enjoying snooker so much. Yeah, uh, these two days I play very enjoy because I, I just want like play the practice. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, waiting for the master and I want to uh, uh, practice more. So uh, like like uh, this match, yeah, I play very enjoy. So the masters is coming up. This is the perfect preparation for that. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I will. Yeah, and and the last few day and uh, I will practice more and uh, waiting for the masters. Have you been practicing much over Christmas in preparation for this and the Masters? Mm, no, at, in Christmas, yeah, I don't have practice. Yeah, just these three days and uh, practice m like uh, five or six hours. Yeah. Well, congratulations for winning this group. We're looking forward to see you again in the winners group next month. Well done. Thank you.